everybody in today's video we will see how we can do an addition process with two numbers okay so using two integer numbers we will add this, those two numbers and we will serial print or display the results the added results that means the addition results of the two numbers okay so integer numbers means that numbers doesn't have any decimal point values so 5 10 23 those are integer numbers so if i say 10.56 that cannot be an integer number that can either be a float number or double or something or we can say it as a decimal number but here we are not going to play around with those numbers we are going to do that addition process with integer numbers right so as you know if we add two integer numbers <coughs> integer numbers the results also will be that means that that, that add addition results also will be an integer number that means if you add 10 plus 5 actually both are integer numbers the addition will also be an integer number that means 15 it cannot be a decimal number obviously right so that is it is that simple okay so as i said now we will have to play around with three 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 variables right that means two numbers are going to be added so two variables we will use for that and the results also we are going to store in a variable so that as as we are adding two integer numbers the results is also going to be an integer number that is uh, out of common sense so the third variable also is going to be an integer variable so i am going to um, declare three integer numbers basically okay so what i'm going to do is um, it can be used as a local variable as well since the addition can be done within a per, per within any of the two blocks still i'm defining it as a declaring is at a as a what you call a global variable so i'm not assigning any values for them so i'm saying int x okay and yes i will say int y so these are the numbers i'm going to add and the results <coughs> i'm going to say int sum so three variables as i said now right because two numbers are going to be added third number is going to be the added values that means sum okay so that's fine so what i will do is i'm going to do the addition process inside the void setup and i will display that means serial the value serial print the value inside the void loop so actually what i'm trying to do is uh, i'm going to continuously serial print the values but addition process is one time now so i will do it inside the site setup and also the va value assigning part also i will ins do inside the setup a block so that's just fine right so what i will do is um, first I will uh, assign a value to x so that you can do in the first line also that's also totally fine that means here when you are declaring you can assign value but still I am assigning the value since I prefer assign the value inside the setup uh, whatever we call setup block so what I will do is I will uh, give equal let's say number 10 okay so you know how to do this right if you don't understand what i am actually doing you have to go through my previous videos and come back okay so then these things will be would have been covered in that uh, would be covered in that areas right in the videos so if you actually went through those videos this this will be uh, somewhat uh, understandable to you obviously it's not it's not a it's not a big deal at all right so let's say y is equal to uh, what we can go 15 that means the total has to be 25 okay so and then we have to give a um, equation to the system because we said x is equal to 10 y is equal to 15 but that's not enough right so what is sum so we have to add that right so we will say we will say sum <coughs> is equal to x plus y x plus y so that means what sum is equal to actually 15 that's all so if somebody changes the values okay 10 to 100 15 to 20, uh, 200 that means x but this equation is still valid because we are adding x plus y okay so sum will be 300 that's obvious so that is why we are using these variables okay even if you change the if you if you are using the sum in 100 places if you if you want to change the x value and y values you have to change it in one place that sum will change in every place because we are directly passing x plus y not the numbers variables so that's why actually we are using variables so i hope this is very clear to you so that's all actually about the equation so this is the most important part you have to actually understand so out of uh, apart from that what i will do is i will um, i have to serial print now so i will add that serial begin part inside the void setup i hope this can be understandable because we already in our previous videos we studied about serial printing so 9600 i will i will give a <coughs> what do you call a <coughs> i'm sorry i got sneezing i'm sorry <coughs> so i will give a uh, what do you call 9600 uh, speed and then summa summation is fine right we have that uh, equation done so everything is perfect so what i want you to understand is this part this part so you should be very clear about this 
okay so how you can add the value and, and assign the value to another variable right integer sum so that must be very very important right then simply what you have to do is you have to serial print the sum value serial dot print ln sum then obviously you will see <coughs> integer sum well will be uh, actually displayed then obviously you will see uh, the sum value is printed <coughs> if you want you can type uh, the total is like that this one but we don't care about that for the moment we will print the added value so now in the coding if you change the x y values to another value like 20 plus 30 then you will see and if you up upload the coding again you will see the correct value that means the new new added value will be printed here because we have changed it equation we have the correct equation in the system x plus y is equal to sum always you change the x plus y x plus y, be, y will be changed and sum also will be changed accordingly and it will be printed inside the void loop <coughs> so since i wanted to do that uh, addition part inside the void setup and uh, what do you call a uh, printing part inside the void loop um yep as as we are i am i'm playing around every variable inside the void setup i ca i could have de declared the xyz I mean these uh, these first three lines okay first three lines also inside the void setup that is possible but still I, I prefer to go with this in in a global scope um, and uh, even if I want to change that uh, equation here inside the void loop still I can do it because it has been declared as a global variable so if you don't understand still you have to go to the previous videos and come back then you will understand so this will obviously give you uh, the correct added value this will be printing so actually what I, it will happen is <coughs> The program will start from void setup. There's no doubt on that. And the program will um, uh, first start the serial begin. Then program will find uh, say okay x is equal to ten. Then it will go and see in the first line now oh, there's something called x. That's an, that's an integer variable. So in the in the name of the x, the in the memory location that is named as x number ten will be saved. Okay, vice versa. In the I mean like that in the another memory location that is an integer memory location that uh, is named as y and in the in that memory location number 15 will be saved <coughs> and then in the number line 8 uh, there is another variable also already now we, we have uh, declared as sum uh, the addition of x plus y that means uh, whatever this uh, value stored in x and whatever the value stored in y both will be added and and, and the ad added value will be stored in the integer location named as sum okay so that is we declared in the uh, line number 3 so we have actually three memory location x x will hold number 10 y will hold 15 and the another memory location called as sum will hold number 25 that's all then void setup is finished so now every every integer sorry every integer variable has its own values right <coughs> so then the program will come to the void loop and it will start running the void loop so first there's only one line serial print and sum so the system will go to sum and it will see if there is any value assigned in assigned to sum so in the memory location of sum we have 25 already we have added 25 right so x plus y is 25 obviously so then 25 will be printed okay according to the line number 13 then obviously this void loop will finish and it, again the void loop will come to the first line that means line number 20 to, sorry not 20 12 and it will start to repeat the void loop forever so again it will print the sum value that means number 25 in a new line also so that is this this is that much obvious right so um, actually that's all so number 25 will be continuously printed so to, to play around with these kind of operations and to do these kind of things uh, things actually we will study those things further so today if you understand how to do a basically addition process using um, two three integer variables and if you if you understand okay we need three integer variables that actually is a success and if you understand whatever i have taught uh, up to now like how to add three values two values and how to assign it to another integer value as, as a total and how to serial print then print it continuously then you are um, you are done with the purpose of this video so i will catch you up with, with another video i mean the next video until then bye